One Sun Prairie Alder wants to drug test himself. He says he and other elected officials in Sun Prairie should have to submit to random drug tests just like city employees do. Chris Gothner has more on the Alder's proposal. Chris? Yes, who's in Sun Prairie Alder, Al Guyant, says politicians should play by the same rules as everyone else, and that's why he wants random drug testing for all elected officials in the city. I don't see why they wouldn't. I mean, everyone else is typically drug tested in the workplace, so I think it's a good idea. And if Sun Prairie Alder Al Guyant gets his way, he and his fellow elected officials could soon be taking drug tests themselves. If we're going to have a policy that says that the staff should be drug tested, then this should apply to us. Nobody should be above the law. Guyant says his proposal is all about fairness to city employees required to take drug tests. He says politicians are constantly making laws that apply to others, but not them. I'm not so keen on saying that elected officials should be drug tested. What I'm saying is that if we say staff should be drug tested, then it should apply to us as fairness. Sun Prairie's mayor says he likes the intent behind the idea. I think it's an interesting idea, and I think it's got some merit to it. If we're expecting our employees to comply with this, then the elected officials should also be willing to comply. But he says he doesn't think it's feasible. What do you do if you find out something that is an issue? And then how do you deal with it? The elected officials are not employees of the city, so you don't have the apparatus, the process to do something about it. But as far as Al Guyant is concerned, drug testing his fellow politicians all comes down to one principle. We are not better than anybody else. Uh, we serve the people. We shouldn't be putting ourselves above the people. Now, Guyan says as far as what can be done to punish officials who violate drug tests, he says at the minimum, voters can choose to remove them from office in their next election. Now, he hopes to present the finished proposal to his fellow Alders sometime this summer. Susan. Story we will continue to follow. Chris Gothner reporting. Thanks, Chris.